How's it guys? Welcome back to another E-Man Dives video. In this video, we're going to be diving with my girlfriend, Echo. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can get stuffed. Uh, it's kind of winds and uh, the water's looking pretty good. So uh, let's go. See you guys there. How's it guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been quite a long time since I last uploaded a video. Uh, the reason why is, is that because of the coronavirus, it's been really hectic for me and I'm sure it's been hectic for all you guys. I actually had to move back to Hawaii and come back from college. Um, it's been kind of crazy with all of that. and uh, Yeah, I'm stoked that I get to be back home and make more videos for you guys. So uh, let's get right into it. So on this first drop, I see a uhu, so I decide to drop around 20 feet away from it. And I'm scratching reef, looking down right there, and uh, it comes right in. I have a clear shot, but I shoot right there, and I miss uh, left. And uh, yeah, I was kind of bummed, but there's more fish to come. <laughs> this is my girlfriend. Did you get it? So actually, this is my girlfriend's first time spearfishing, so I decided to let her use the three prongs so that she can learn. Uh, I saw some beckes that she might be able to shoot uh, and uh, she took a drop and um, this is actually her first drop. She tried to shoot it but she didn't get it unfortunately but not bad for her first drop. But she's learning and she'll get better. Okay so right here I actually see some coles and I'm pointing at them and I want to see if my girlfriend can try uh, land one but unfortunately uh, she missed and uh, she went down again and uh, unfortunately she missed again she still needs to practice on the three prong um, I figured a kole would be a good fish for her to uh, I guess try to shoot because they're really curious and really easy to shoot but uh, yeah she'll get them next time so I decided to go down and take the drop and uh, land, land one <laughs> So right here, I take the drop. Notice how I line up the fish with my index finger and my thumb. Uh, I do this uh, as a method of aiming when I'm actually using the three prong and uh, I released it and my aim was good and I landed the, the fish. So at this point, I'm super stoked with this kole. And um, yeah, koles are actually really good fish. Back in the day, only royalty were supposed to eat kole, so the fact that we're eating this kole now is really special. Uh, and here I am braining the fish. Notice how I'm using my kui. My kui actually has a really sharp edge, and uh, this allows me to brain the fish with that. I don't really, I don't carry a knife. I probably should, but uh, the kui works fine for me. But um, yeah, super stoked on this kole and uh, excited to cook it up. Okay guys, just got out of the water, um, you know, what'd you think of that dive session? I thought it was fun. She thought it was fun? We saw some fish, we saw a big ovo that I missed, it was probably saw like... A shark. Saw a shark too, and white tip. And two honus. And two honus. Unfortunately, the GoPro died, so couldn't see those, but um, yeah, we got two coles, we're gonna cook it up, we're gonna go over to her house, cook it up, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys there, show you guys how. Okay, so we're back at the house and um, yeah, we're gonna gut these coles up. We got both these coles right here. And uh, yeah, these guys are like super curious fish. They just swim right up to you and you can just nail them. So yeah, I'm gonna teach. Not me. <laughs> yeah, you're working it. But um, I'm gonna teach Echo how to gut one of these. And this, what I'm gonna show you, works for like kind of smaller fish too. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so um, I guess the first step in um, gutting and cleaning a fish is to um, uh, remove the scale. So right now, we're gonna be using a spoon. Spoon works fine. You're gonna wanna start from the edge of the fish and you're gonna go against the green. And you're gonna go up like this. And um, yeah, you should see all the scales start to come off just like that. So do that for the rest of the fish on both sides and yeah. Okay, so now Echo is gonna try. So yeah, let's see how she does it. Let's see how she does. Bye, Auntie.
Yeah, against the grain. Just like that, yeah. <laughs> okay, show the camera your fish. Yeah, good job. Okay, now for step two. Okay, so now that we got our fishes all scaled, uh, we're gonna start cutting it. So for koles, um, usually sometimes I really I, I just cut the head off. But I know some people. I don't I don't know anyone who eats the head of the kole, but. Um, some people just cut the head off, but uh, in this video, I'll kind of show you the standard way to gut a fish. So right, so right now we're gonna start from the bottom. So what you wanna do is you wanna find the fish's okole, his butthole, and um, which is right here, and we're just gonna cut up all the way to the mouth, and um, start after that. We're gonna pull out all the guts and. Uh, your fish is going to be completely clean. So let's start doing that and um, I'll show you guys how. Okay, so um, for this step, I got scissors. You can use a knife, uh, whatever whatever suits you. Just make sure on the cole, you just watch out for over here. They have like a little spine that, you know, kind of comes out. So first you want to kind of cut that off. Cut it off, cut the spine off. Now we're gonna cut this this spine off right there. Okay, see that? Now it's off, so no spine, you're not gonna get poked. Next, we're gonna cut it up from the butthole. So right here is the butthole. So the way you find the butthole is you just it usually is on the bottom of the fish, underneath this fin right here. And um, yeah, so uh, you kind of want to insert your scissors into the butthole and then cut up. And you want to make sure you cut only, you, you cut up um, at the surface because if you cut below the surface too deep, you might actually even puncture the guts and you don't want that to damage the flesh and ruin the flesh. So here we go, cutting it up. So now we have it open and inside. You can see all of his guts and now we're just going to pull all of that out. So you stick your finger in and get ready to get get your hands dirty <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to pull it all out. Smells good, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just cut the head off. and clean. So now it's Echo's turn. Oh, yay. <laughs> okay, find the butthole. Let me see if I can do this. Good job, babe. Well, mm -hmm. okay. So actually, colas are algae and limu eating fish, which is why their guts are all green. So. Yeah. Okay, so now we're back in the house and we're gonna begin cooking the fish. <laughs> so here we have the two colas. Um, first off, we're gonna begin by 
drying the coal is. Because we're pan frying the coal is, uh, we don't want any moisture on top of the fish. So what you want to do is you want to get a paper towel like this and you want to start um, just patting it down and getting rid of all that moisture, all that water um, that's on top of the fish. You want the fish to be as dry as possible. Okay, after we dried it off, um, now we're gonna make some um, in, insert some cuts into the fish and what this does is it helps the fish fry a lot more um, evenly. So here I am just gonna make two or three cuts depending on the size of the fish. Two cuts on this side is good. The other side, two cuts also. Here babe, you try. Two cuts. Okay, so now that we prepared the fish, um, now, now it's time to cook the fish. And here's some ingredients that you will need for this catch and cook. So first, we have this cornstarch, and then you also need garlic salt, black pepper, and olive oil. <laughs> okay, so let's start cooking. So, now that the fish is prepared, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna get your garlic salt, and then just sprinkle a coat of garlic salt onto the fish. Make sure you get it evenly on the whole fish. Sorry, that's my dog. And you also wanna try to get it inside the cuts too. Right after you sprinkle it, you want to rub it in so it gets into the meat. And you're going to do that for both sides. Next, after you put your garlic salt, you want to get your black pepper and you want to, you're going to want to do the exact same thing. For me, I just kind of eyeball how much I put on. Okay, so now that you've seasoned the fish, you're gonna you're gonna want to go ahead and add your cornstarch, and this will actually help fry the fish. So just put a little bit. Just add enough so where it can um, cover the fish and have like a thin coating on the fish, on the entire fish. Prepared and seasoned. We're gonna heat up the, the pan to medium and we're gonna put a thin layer of olive oil on top. And we're gonna wait for that to heat up and once that's heated up, then we're gonna put these on top and uh, yeah. Okay, so now that the pan's hot enough, we're gonna put on the collins. Now we're gonna flip it. There we go. Flip the other one. There we go. Almost fall. Okay, so now that the fish is tall, I'm gonna take the right off. First one looking good. Now on to the second one. There you go, ready to grind. Okay, so now, now that we cooked the fish, now we can get to try them and um, yeah, let's see how it tastes. <laughs> That's really good. Is that what you actually think or is that no, just in front of the camera? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it's really actually good. good. Mop them. How was it? It was good. What'd you think? I thought it was delicious. <laughs> Mop them. Nothing goes so easy. Alright guys, mahalo. 
for watching the rest of the video um i hope you guys learned how to gut a fish and uh some cole recipe and yeah try to target coles i mean those are really good fish back in the day only the royalty could eat them and um yeah so mahalo for watching don't forget to like subscribe share it with your friends and uh thumbs up if you enjoy these catch and cook videos especially with my girlfriend <laughs> and uh yeah see you guys in the next video stay safe during the quarantine and shoots <laughs>